start at sign, you, your heart is not like sign, it's like being crumpled. Okay, so, so two things. We put down the left of this, keep the involvement up, and start looking for those words which are more descriptive because that's also the energizing factor here. It's the forward, relentless forwardness and the descriptive words.
So, but it is a big change because it's challenging you to the usual paradigm, which is director does this, we follow the director, right? and in those magic moments we come together. And that's really good. I'm asking you to consider that if you do this, you can actually push Charlie. You can give it to Charlie before he asks for it. Wouldn't that be miraculous? <coughs> because it's your song. The song, the song begs that demands it. There was another question. Some other question. No, but I just answer his question Sure. If, if you practice it, if, if, if we practice it this way, and then a phrase, and then right, a couple times, and then right away, right away after practice without our hands up, but everything else. That's is right. Clear, That's right. And, then we get into that and, and so it is an exercise. That's why I use the word exercise. Because I just don't want to inflict the idea that if we do certain moves, it will add to it. it it's trying to get the body and the music more congruent for a lot of you than. Uh, and there's things you can do that somebody would say that doesn't make any sense with the lyric, but when the audience was just absorbing it, it just it was not distracting; it was enhancing the feel. So I, I'm not concerned that somebody will do too much. You've got good leadership out here; you've got people taking notes. But I would just hate to see you say, "Well, that was pretty interesting," but now we're going to go tightly. Yeah. I was going to say you can almost imagine or visualize we're doing this without doing it. Exactly. And you know, yeah, imagineering yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Doing it without yeah. Doing it yeah. Should help the yes. <laughs> but what I, what I would ask that you to visualize most is that if you were looking at yourself, it would look musical. Most of us are detached. Our brain is detached from our body. Most of us. We're not very kinesthetic and aware of that. So this is challenging you to be more aware of that. That's all. Simple, I could have said that to start with. Maybe we wouldn't have to. It was fun, though. That's great, Marty. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, I think that will be helpful. You want to do the song from top to bottom now? Yeah. Mr. Wilson, yeah. the other thing I've, I mentioned to you before, and it's absolutely true, I, I read it somewhere, whether it was the ASCAP or one of those groups, was this song, of all the songs in North American music from like 1850 on, this is like in the top five, a most beautiful song. Because it's elegantly simplistic. And the poetry, listen to this poetry, the poetry is incredible, so that's why I'm asking you to look for those words and revel in the choices that the director, that, that the composer made. Composer and, and, the, uh, and the music, and the music guy were all the same guy. This would happen to be arranged by somebody. Okay? okay so we'll make some music. So is this hands up or just chest up? This is uh, directing as much as you need to stop the ball. Yeah. And if you think it's too much 